Hi you guys, quick candy pumpkin tutorial. All right, so for this, you are going to need some string, some scissors, and some pony beads. And the bead count for this is 10 of your main color, two of your eye color, and one of your stem color. All right, you can do this with orange, black, and green, or whatever colors you want. So you're gonna take a good length of string, fold it in half, if I can fold it in half, fold it in half. And then, I need my beads closer to me, oh my goodness. Take two of your main color beads and put one on each end of the string. I really need a tripod, huh, bro? I can't just keep, keep holding this. Oh, I dropped it. Dang it. All right, we got it. Nothing fell off. Now you're going to take and put your strings evenly next to each other. And you're going to take one of your eye color beads and put it right on both ends and drop it right onto there. And it should look like that. You wanna make sure it looks like that. Now you're going to separate them. And then you're going to take two more of your main color, one on each end once again. If I can get that on that end of string right there, oh my goodness, and drop it down so now it should look like that. And then once again, put them together. Take your last eye color bead, your last eye color bead, didn't know if you heard that because I was kind of like stalking really fast, yep, alright, and then put them on your string, drop it, so now you should have main color, eye color, main color, eye color, now for the last time on this, we're going to take our strings apart, Take two of our main color and put one on each end of the string if I can do that. Alright, there we go. And just drop them. And now it should look something like that, but with whatever colors you chose. Now you're going to take and tie this into a quick triple knot and let me tie this into my triple knot I do not tie fast at all I tie really slow guys so sorry and I'm not even tying on the camera I'm literally just throwing this thing around all right now that you've done that you'll have two strings right here you're going to take one end of your string and put it up through the bead that it is closest to. So as you can see, this string is closest to this bead, so I'm gonna take this end, put it right through there, grab it and pull it. All right, and now this is your top. Oop, messed up a little bit. This is your top bead now. What's going on? I'm going to zoom this out some so we can see a little bit better. There we go. That's perfect. All right. Now we're going to take another one of our main color. Put it on and string it. Your string through that middle bead. Right there. Oh, it won't focus on the project. It's only focusing on my hands. There we go. All right. Now we're going to take another main color. Drop it right down onto the string, and you're going to go out through this bead right here. And you are now done with the top. You can let that string go, hold it, whatever. All right, now you're going to take this one. It is being pulled into this bead right here, so it might look wrong. I'm just going to drop this into the string. And now you're going to take, and this was the string that was closest, and you're going to go through the opposite bead now. And pull it. 
All right, and take a main color bead and put it right on there. Drop it and take and put it right through that middle bead. Right there. Right there, there. And then you're going to take another one of your main color bead and put it right on there. Put it right through that bead right there. Oh my goodness, cannot find the DM hole right there. There we go. And then you're going to take, and you will have your strings on the same end. Now you're going to take your bottom string, or either string, whichever one, now that it looks the exact same. Well, this was our top, so we're going to take this and be our top string. Hold it like this. And you're going to take the string on the this bottom part and string it up through that bead right there. And then that just untighten. And then you're going to string this bead right up through that bead. And if it keeps untightening like that, just keep pulling the string of the end that it was my pant leg in the way. And just keep pulling it. And you're going to take and take your one and only stem color and string it on right here. And we are going to put it right through that bead. Right here, here, here. And as you can see, this bead keeps getting loose right here, so we're just going to pull it on this end. And then you're going to take and go down right through that bead. Alright, and now that this end is on that end, we're going to take this string and put it through this bead right here on the bottom and pull it right up and we're going to string it right through here, pull it up and we're going to A little bit because it was getting a little loose. Now you're going to put it right through this middle bead right here. And pull it. Right through that bead right there. Then we're going to go through that bead right there. Can it focus on the project? And then we're going to go through that bead. Pull that, and then you're going to see now that they are on the same end again. We are going to now finally take and tie it off completely. So you can do double knot, triple knot, whatever kind of knot you want to do. I'm going to be doing a triple knot because I find that's what works best. And pull it tight, and you have made a Candy pumpkin! Well, we have to cut off our strings. And then you...